Hi, everyone. My name is Elaine, and I'm a library assistant here with the Contra Costa County Library System. Today, we wanted to talk about bullet journaling, what it is, how to get started, and how it can help in your mindfulness journey. So what is a bullet journal? A bullet journal is an organizational method that combines to-do lists, brainstorming, planning, notes, and journaling all in one notebook. The bullet journal method is a way to keep on top of what you need to do, to organize your priorities, and to declutter your mind. In the words of Ryder Carroll, who designed the bullet journal, it is, quote, an analog system designed to track the past, organize the present, and plan for the future, end quote. He also calls it mindfulness practice disguised as a productivity system. So let's look at how a bullet journal is set up and how it can do all that. And all we'll need is a notebook and a writing utensil. There are many ways to customize the bullet journal so that it works for you and what your current needs are. What we'll be going over today is the basic structure of the bullet journal, how the core modules or collections are set up, and how they all work together. So the core modules of a bullet journal are the index, the future log, the monthly log, and the daily log. As you use your bullet journal, you may add your own collections to customize it to your own needs. So first you have the index. This is where you'll keep track of all the contents of your notebook so that it'll be easy to find when you need to reference it later. In this basic setup, creating an index is as simple as opening to your first two page spread and titling it index. I'll show you how to add items to your index later as we set up the rest of your bullet journal. One of the strengths of a bullet journal is that you can begin at any time of the year and make full use of all the pages in your notebook. Your bullet journal is going to begin with a zoomed out view focusing on the future and then progressively zoom in more and more to focus on the month and then focus on the day. To set up your future log, let's open up to the next spread and title it future log. These pages will be an overview of your upcoming tasks, appointments, birthdays, projects, and anything else you know you will need to be aware of for the future. The future log is traditionally split up into six sections to cover the next six months. So let's do that now. Very simply, I'm going to draw a line here. As this is the future log, the first month to be listed here will be the next month, so in our case, October. As mentioned before, this will be an overview of things in your future that you know you need to be aware of. For example, my brother's birthday is coming up in November, so I'm going to add that to the calendar. Um, Another example is I may have a big library event that is coming up on the 30th of June, so big library event. I may even put a task um, such as begin planning big library event. So that I'm not pressed for time. I also can put down a vacation that I have coming up. Let's see, one, four, vacation. That way I have something to look forward to. If you're in school, you may also want to put down due dates of assignments in your future log, especially large projects, so you can think about um, when you want to start those and so you're not caught off guard. To make sure you can easily locate the future log, we're going to number these pages and then flip back to the index and add the future log to it. So, you know, this is page one and two. So to the index, and we'll add future log. 
one. Did you? So now let's move from the far future to a closer time frame with the monthly log. So here is our September monthly log. On this side, we have a simple calendar where we've written down all the days of the current month along with the first letter of the day. This log is where I will write out appointments, meetings, um, or events that are happening. On this side, um, we have the monthly task list where we'll list out all the tasks that we're hoping to complete this month. To differentiate between tasks, events, and notes, the bullet journal method has three standard bullets. The simple dot represents a task. Events are represented by an open circle and notes are represented by a dash. So let's fill out our monthly log with some items. Let's see, the six was Labor Day. I had a meeting on the 9th at four o'clock. And I saw a movie on the 13th. I think of all of these as events, and so these are all represented by an open circle. We also got rain for the first time on the 10th, along with some thunder. So why not add a little, little note as a reminder? Rain. Yay. Let's also add some items to the monthly task list. So I have um, an online training webinar that I need to finish by the 30th. So online training. I need to make an eye appointment. Make. And I want to contact a friend who just moved to the Bay Area. And all these tasks are things that need to be done. And so that's why I've used a simple bullet here. To help locate this page again, um, I will number these pages just like I did the future work. So this is page four. We're going to go back to the index and add September as the entry. I'm going to write down the first page that it starts on because I don't yet know where all my September pages will stop. I'm going to leave the end of the range blank. Now that we've outlined the month, let's use our daily log to help organize and plan our day. We'll turn to the next page and start the daily log by writing the day's date and day of the week right on the top. To begin your daily log, you can list any tasks that you want to do and any events that you have that day. Remember, refer to your monthly spread to see if there's anything on the monthly task list that you would like to add to your daily log. So let's go ahead and start our log for the day. Um, today, I need to schedule social media posts for work. I need to stop by the grocery store to pick up some snacks. Store. snacks. Um, looking at my monthly task list, I see make eye appointment is one of the events I want to get done this month. Um, I think I'll be able to get to that today, so I'm going to add that to the list.
throughout your day, there may be tasks, appointments, and other items that come to your attention. To capture all this information, you will use a process called rapid logging. The different bullets that we talked about as we set up our monthly log is part of this process. The task bullet, the event circle, and the note dash. By combining these bullets and short sentences, you can rapidly log and notate the different items that come up throughout the day. So if I suddenly remember that I need to stop by the gas station to refill my gas tank, I can quickly add that to my list. Get gas. To draw attention to this task, I can also add a signifier, a little asterisk, to show that it's important. Um, if someone recommends me an interesting book, I can also write down the title and author as a note and so forth. So interesting book. Research has shown that the act of writing things down helps increase memory retention. So writing down these tasks actually will help me remember to do them. Having a dedicated place to write down these tasks or ideas also means I don't have to worry about forgetting about them or that I won't know where my notes went. Also, I don't have to spend my energy actively reminding myself to do something. I can get all the thoughts that are in my head onto the page and spend my energy actually doing the things I set out to do. This helps keep my mind clear and uncluttered and helps me focus. Sometimes you'll have a large project, task, or idea that you would like to expand upon that you can't be contained by a simple bullet. This is when you can begin a special collection to give yourself some space to brainstorm, meditate, and expand upon the idea. Looking at this daily log, I see that I need to stop by the grocery store for some snacks. I can either list them out here into the daily log, or I can turn the page and make a collection called grocery list and list them all out that way. Anything can become a, a collection. Some of the ideas that you may have seen before include um, a habit or mood tracker, movie or book list, a shopping list, travel lists, um, mind maps, project planning, goal planning, line of day journals, gratitude logs, and meeting notes. Just remember to number your pages and add them to the index so you can easily locate them again. An important component of bullet journaling is the reflection. This can be done at the end of the day or the beginning of the next. Sometimes it's as simple as making sure that all the tasks that you have completed are actually marked off. You can add and log any interesting items that happened in the day. I sometimes retroactively add completed tasks to the daily log as I reflect upon the day because I find it helpful to see a full picture of how my day went. And also it gives me some satisfaction to turn off. In addition to marking that a task is finished, there are also other ways to categorize the items in your daily log. The process of migration involves moving any open tasks that you didn't get done that day to a future day. You can migrate it forward to the next day and mark the task with a forward arrow. Or if the task is something that you want to do further in the future, you can use a backwards arrow to notate that it's been migrated back into the future log. There may be tasks that you wrote down that are no longer relevant unless you can strike them out. You may also have a note that you want to expand into a collection or maybe even journal about. It's during this time of reflection that you can really focus and organize your priorities. Similarly, at the end of the month, when you set up the next monthly log, you will reflect on your current month and look over all your daily logs. If you still have open tasks. Decide if they should be migrated to the next month's monthly task list or to your future log. Or if they're no longer relevant, they can thus be stricken from your list. At its core, the bullet journal method is a tool to help bring focus and clarity to your day. By helping you to declutter your mind, it can help you learn about what is important to you and help you prioritize accordingly. You can focus on what is important and let go of what is not. We hope this has been a helpful demonstration of the basics of bullet journaling. Bye.